Los Angeles has Hollywood and Vine, New York has Times Square, and Winnipeg has Portage and Main. At least the motorists in Winnipeg have Portage and Main because soon the pedestrians won't. Thanks to urban development, the people who walk through Winnipeg are about to lose one of life's great privileges, crossing the street at Portage and Main and surviving the weather. Corner Portage and Main, coldest spot in Winnipeg. More than that, just about everybody says the intersection of Portage Avenue and Main Street is the windiest and coldest in Canada. That may not be true. Surely there's a colder place in the Arctic somewhere, but it's close enough to the truth to make this one of the most famous crossroads in the country. The intersection was actually established in 1863. You will notice many people have learned the Portage and Main technique. The quicker you can get across, the less chance you will freeze to death before you reach the other side. Today, an historic event. The city opened a $7 million underground walkway, which includes some stores, and to the great relief of Winnipeg pedestrians, a heating system. Eventually, many downtown buildings will be connected by a series of underground concourses and above-ground skywalks. Shortly after the official opening, fighting the bitter wind above ground seemed to be a hard habit to break for many people. How come you're going to walk across the street instead of using the underground walkway? Because I don't know how to get to it just yet. Right. And this is faster. Well, I, well, I didn't know where the entrance was. Oh, it's just over there. Okay, I'll take, I'll take a chance and go through it. Do you think it's a good idea, is it? Oh, yeah, so if I could find it, it's better than walking in the cold. But it's got to work good, because it's just freezing out here. Got to run, got to get inside. I didn't know it was open. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's right behind you there. Oh, it's kind of far. I think I'll just run across. Later, there will be no choice for Winnipeggers. The crosswalks will be abolished, and pedestrians who want to get to the other side will have to go underground. After 116 years, the city has finally decided that Portage and Main is fine for cars, but it's no fit place for human beings. Terry Maddy, CBC News, Winnipeg. And that's the news for Friday, February 23rd. For The National, I'm Valerie Aaliyah. Good night.